Hello and welcome to Reinfused. Today we are taking a look at Wizard of War on the Commodore 64 game system. Yes, the, <laughs> the slightly doomed Commodore 64 game system. Um, if you don't know the Commodore uh, GS, yeah, let's just call it the GS, uh, it was, well, it was effectively Commodore's first attempt at a console. They took the innards of a Commodore 64, like literally took the innards of a Commodore 64, stuck it into a console shell, uh, moved the cartridge slot so it was pointing upwards, and released it. Now, one of my favourite things about this is they then kind of force released a bunch of other games as well, uh, with the help of one of their partners, uh, LGN, the notorious LGN. And one of the games they released was Terminator 2. Unfortunately, it was on a cartridge retriever program, so it's required the keyboard to make a selection. So even though the label said that it was GS compatible, you could not use it on a GS because there is no keyboard. Fantastic. <laughs> anyway, on with Wizard of War. Right. It's um, it's a simple enough game. It's basically Berserk. So we're on this character over here and I need to shoot all of these. Yeah, it's, it's it looks quite nice. No sound again, which is annoying. It definitely should be sound. Yeah, like Pac-Man, we can uh, go across. Oh, so can they. And they used the gate. Oh, I can't get in there now. God damn you. <laughs> right. Yep, so the idea is just to walk around and shoot these guys without dying. And then other creatures will arrive, which are harder to beat. Not necessarily need new shot, more shots, but oh, like that one which has now gone invisible. I can see him on my radar if you look at the bottom of the center screen. Ah, there we go. Right, and this is basically level two then. Yeah, so this is uh, well, this is the game. <laughs> These things do fire, but we're on uh, still on a fairly easy difficulty at the moment, so unlikely to be shot by them. Yeah, it's two players, you can see, uh, oh, hello, you've arrived early. Oh, which way are you going? Yeah, you saw that guy fire then. <laughs> yeah, so now they're arriving a bit quicker and there will be other ones as well and there are more. Oh, God. Nope, there we go. <laughs> it's, um, it's a fun game, it really is, it's very simple. It's, it's really Pac-Man with guns, but it's fun. And it works. Oh, hello. Uh, Warlock. Got him. Now the Wizard of War. This is the... Oh. Doesn't appear on the radar. Disappears and reappears at random. Gotcha. Oh, hello. He got me. <laughs> right. I mean, that's it. That's Wizard of War. Uh, the sound is basically there, but it's not quite coming through. There's a lot of noise. So I'm probably going to have to mute it, unfortunately. It's very simple. There's this, you know, this, the C64 had the SID chip, which did for its time give fantastic sound, but I, for a call correctly, this doesn't really use it anyway. Not to any kind of degree. But, um, yeah, it's annoying that uh, we're not getting that sound. But uh, yeah, you know what? It's um, it's a fun game. God, I really am not used to using joysticks now. I'm very much used to using joy pads. <laughs> My jaw <laughs> up. <laughs> it's a good game. Uh, if you've got a Commodore 64, then it's worth getting anyway. Um, I'd say it's better than Berserk, and Berserk is a game I really love. But this just adds an extra bit to it as well. This, there was another game on the Spectrum like this. Or was this on the Spectrum? I don't remember which. Anyway, it's a good game. If you can get it, get it. Uh, if you've got a 64GS, then it might actually make it worth having. <laughs> Probably not, though. Right. Oh, God, these, these buggers are moving quick now. Right. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit like. If you really enjoyed the video, please hit subscribe. If you didn't enjoy the video or you have something else to say, then please leave it in the comments below. See you next time.